Alrighty, let's sit down and do some reviews. Before we get into this review, if you guys want to check out my novel, The Run Around to Hell I Come, you guys can. Link's down in the description below. For those of you that already have, you guys are kick-ass. And if you haven't, I think you'll really enjoy it. Check the link down in the description. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the Conan Brothers' first feature film. And one thing about the Coen Brothers that I really do appreciate is it feels like they make one film that's like really serious and then they make a film, they follow it up with one that's super goofy. And I, I really like that about them. I, all their films kind of have a, uh, well, not all their films, uh, definitely not this one and definitely not No Country for Old Men. Uh, but there are some parts in this film that are kind of funny, like with the fish and stuff like that. It's, it's just, it's very subtle stuff, but the movie we're going to be talking about is Blood Simple. Now, there's a criterion for this, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, I had to check it out. I, I really did. I had to check it out. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. The film stars John Getz and Frances McDormand. You are going to see her in Fargo. You're going to see her in Raising Arizona. I'm actually going to be reviewing Raising Arizona here soon, so uh, be on the lookout for that. But Blood Simple centers around this affair, and this man figures out the affair, and he hires somebody to go after these people. So in a way, this movie feels more like, honestly, it feels more like No Country for Old Men than it does any other Coen Brothers film. And I and I really do appreciate that because I think the Coen Brothers' best film is No Country for Old Men. Now, I know I've had somebody say Raising Arizona uh, and an old brother were out there. The Coen Brothers, they have really good movies out there. Uh, the one I need to see now definitely is Miller's Crossing. I need to check that movie out. But Blood Simple is exactly what it is. It's a simple movie. It really is. It's a simple movie. This was their first feature. And, you know, you can definitely tell uh, you know, the style of film that they wanted to make. It's one of those movies where uh, it's my, my biggest issue with it. it. It's really one thing, one thing about this film. Uh, yeah, you could say maybe the performances are a little bit off or maybe you can, because I did feel like the performances were a little bit off at times. Uh, or you could say maybe there wasn't much dialogue, but I, I think if the film can work without the dialogue, uh, I think they can do it well. Uh, no Country for Old Men was, is a perfect, perfect example, um, which that does have dialogue and that has very amazing dialogue, but it doesn't have, you know, as much dialogue as, you know, say, uh, a Raising Arizona or an Old Brother Were Out Thou. Uh, but yeah, I, Blood Simple, it's a simple film, but my main issue with it, though, is the pacing. The pacing of the film is so off, like, it's just, it's, it's, very distracting at times. And what I mean by that is every shot and every scene lingers. And it doesn't linger, I feel, to show you sort of uh, uh, maybe the location or something that you can sort of focus on because they do focus on a lot of stuff and they do it very bluntly. But it just feels like the scenes just drag on, like somebody getting out of a chair and looking at someone or somebody talking and then waiting for the, the, the other person to say something back. Now, yes, that does happen in real life, obviously, but there's just something about it. There's just something about it. The pacing, it just, it did not work well with me. That's just the one thing that I did not care much about. Now, I will say I did like the finale of this film and I do like the overall feel and, and look of the film. The film itself is a strong debut feature and that's, you know, kind of uh, yeah, I would say rare for uh, for most directors for their first film. Uh, but the Coen Brothers, I, I feel like it's a, it's a strong uh, it's a strong story. It's a strong film. It's definitely not the best, not the greatest. I would probably honestly go as far as saying it's my least favorite Coen Brothers film that I've seen so far. But hey, that's completely fine. It was still a joy to watch. I really did enjoy seeing exactly where they came from, uh, and, and also too, it's nice seeing a young Frances McDormand. I mean, I, I I think she's a terrific actor. I can't wait to see her in Nomadland, and she done really good in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. She's awesome uh, in Fargo, and then the little role that she has in Raising Arizona, she's pretty good as well. Uh, but yeah, my final score for uh, for Blood Simple is going to be a 7 out of a 10. It's, it's a good film. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And if you guys want to check me out on my Instagram, links down in the description below. That's where I post all my filmmaking stuff, writing stuff, game, movie stuff, professional, personal stuff. And if you guys want to check out The Runaround to Hell I Come, check the link down in the description below. I think you guys will really like it. It's a kick-ass story. Anyway, see you guys next time.